finished up mocking the S-bar heating box. Uh, I haven't welded in the final panel. I wanted to see how it laid out in there before I make anything permanent. So, I'll show you what it looks like inside there because from the top you can't see anything. I modified a five gallon tank. This is going to have diesel fuel into it. A hole at the bottom with a valve, shut off valve. That will pump, will be pumped into our fuel filter and then our fuel pump pushes that into the actual heating unit. Once the ignition is made and the unit is hot, the fuel or the glycol pump will pull out of this tank into the unit, circulate it, shoot it out, and then shoot it into the loop that's within the house. So, wish me luck. This Esquire system installation did not come easy at all. So we're gonna run uh, we're gonna run water first, and hope that mm, there are no leaks in the system. We're not gonna run the shower. There's no point for that. We just want to make sure our heat is working correctly, efficiently. And no leaks. That should be good. Okay, let's go touch some battery terminals to together and see what happens. <laughs> Are you afraid? I'm mildly afraid. No, you're at home laughing at us. I bet. Okay, here we go. Okay. One, two, three. You funny? Oh. Initializing. We're getting stuck. Of course, I didn't bring the little pamphlet that tells us what to do when you first turn this thing oh, on. Oh shit, yeah. For how long? A minute? Okay, it's making noise. Things are happening. Blowing bubbles. What? Okay. Fuck, that means there's a leak on this floor. We had leaks right here. This guy leaked. Well, we had a straight, straight radiator hose. We just put a few 90s on. Some more clamps. Oh, so many more clamps. Clamps. I got clamps. Clamps. So many clamps. <laughs> shit in our house before we could. We've already gone through and done some test runs. There were a few leaks. I've ripped it all apart and I'm about to put it all back together. But before I go putting all of it back together, if you're enjoying the the journey, if you're enjoying watching the, the build and watching us learn as we go, please Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share this with friends, share this with family. Um, 
it would mean a lot to both Jen and I, because uh, this has been one heck of a journey. We're getting so close to taking this thing across the country. Hopefully, within a month, this thing will be on the back of the truck. I decided that I was going to put a hinge on it. There's no way we'd ever be able to do any sort of maintenance on this system if I didn't have a hinge on it. Granted, the hose, the hoses will prevent this thing from opening up all the way. Alright, so now that the S-Bar is connected and running well, all the leaks are taken care of, what I wanted to show you is how we are going to utilize this heating system that heats the house that's going to work the same to heat our showers so we can have endless hot water. So check this out. So, it heats the glycol in the box and the PEX is running through the house. It's a radiant floor heat. The glycol gets pushed into the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger um, allows our fresh water to um, be implemented into this hot shower system. So the glycol goes through the entire system through the floor, but this is the cool part. This is what we use for hot showers. So we got we got a three and a half gallon um, pump that pushes the water through all of the filters, sterilizer into the shower, into the mixer, and then we have a secondary pump that pulls from the drain and it comes up and it goes right back in to this tank. Providing us a recirculating endless hot water system that in theory we can get a month of showers off of one nine gallon tank. 